Natural resources are abundantly found all across Michigan. Mining operations and production have been active as early as the late 1700s and continue on through today, although production has slowed. In this introductory video, we will be talking about the basic history of an array of natural resources found in the state, including metallic and non-metallic minerals, aggregates, and energy resources. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a like and rock that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get into it. Metallic mineral mining in Michigan has historically been confined to the Upper Peninsula. In the state of Michigan, gold is a very minor resource, making commercial extraction a poor investment. Gold was first discovered in the early 1840s by state geologist Douglas Houghton. Ropes Gold Mine was the first productive mine in Michigan, and it opened in 1881 in Ishpeming and ran on and off until it permanently closed in 1991. After the opening of Ropes Mine, 75 other gold mines were established throughout the Upper Peninsula but have produced minimal resources. Copper is commonly found in the western Upper Peninsula, typically in Keweenaw and West. The first copper mine was opened in 1771, but active mining didn't start until the 1840s when Douglas Houghton released a report on native minerals in the Upper Peninsula that led to the first significant mineral rush in the nation, predating the California Gold Rush. Deposits range in a band stretching from the Michigan-Wisconsin border to the tip of the Keweenaw Peninsula and out into Lake Superior. Overall, Michigan has produced over 14 billion pounds of copper, but mining ceased in the UP in 1969, until the New Eagle Mine in Marquette County started production in 2014. More recently, the Back 40 project was proposed for an open pit metallic sulfide mine, expected to produce mostly gold and zinc, but also containing copper, silver, and lead. Iron ore is found in three major trends of iron formations throughout the western part of the Upper Peninsula. The first is the Marquette Range, with only one mine left operating. Discovered in 1844 near Nagani, it is composed of a series of quartzites, slates, volcanics, and one thin iron formation. The next is the Menominee Range. The earliest discovery of this range was in 1848, but no exploratory work was done until 1866. Production started in the mid-1870s and ran through 1956. It contains two belts of iron formation in a series of granite gneiss, quartzite, dolomite, and slate. Lastly is the Gogebic Range, first documented in Wisconsin in 1849, but not found in Michigan until 1883. It contains a single iron formation in a series of greenstone, quartzite, dolomite, and slates. Significant production in these iron formations continued into the early 1900s. But iron production in Michigan today is mostly found in the Detroit area. Non-metallic minerals in Michigan can primarily be found in the Lower Peninsula. Rock gypsum, a hydrous calcium sulfate, is commonly used in plaster and drywall, as it is great for fire protection due to the high amounts of water it contains. Gypsum has historically been mined and produced commercially near Tawa City, Alabaster, and most notably Grand Rapids. In 1827, a member of the Ottawa tribe discovered an outcrop in Grand Rapids. It wasn't until 1838 when Douglas Houghton made a report on the abundance of gypsum in this area. The first commercial mining then began in 1841 and continued well into the 20th century. While they no longer mine gypsum in Grand Rapids, the old mines are still in use as dry storage. Rock salt, also called halite or sylvite, depending on its composition, was discovered in the Detroit area in 1895. They didn't actively start mining until 1906, and it took many years before this Detroit mine actually started producing in 1914. Original use was for treating leather and preserving food. There was a pause in production in the late 20th century, but by 1998, the mine was reopened and is still mined today, mainly for road de-icing salt used all across North America. Aggregate resources are mined statewide in Michigan. Sand and gravel are often used in construction as fill, glass sands, injection mold sands, brick filler, and more. 
It is hard to drive around Michigan without passing an aggregate pit or storage facility as most of these resources are found at or near the surface. Crushed stone may be used in place of sand and gravel when needed, mostly limestone and dolomite, as the economical feasibility of transporting aggregates is limited to 30 miles from their mining locations. Clay and shale are also commonly found at or near the surface throughout Michigan. Grand Ledge in central Michigan has a rich history in using clay materials for manufacturing. These raw materials are commonly used for brick and tile making, ceramics, and cement. Typically, clay is going to be sourced from glacial lake sediments or glacial till, while shale is sourced from shallow antrum shale bedrock deposits. Energy resources in Michigan consist of oil, gas, and coal. All production of these resources has occurred in the Lower Peninsula, with some exploration in the Upper Peninsula. First commercial oil production was in the 1880s in Port Huron. Oil in Michigan mainly developed from hydrocarbons found in pinnacle reef deposit traps, while gas is typically found in shallow antrum shale beds. The oil and gas industry started booming in 1925 near Saginaw, but large-scale production did not start until the 1950s. Production of oil and gas continues today, but overall there has been little to no new discoveries in the 21st century. Coal was discovered in Michigan in the early 1800s west of Jackson, Michigan. Again, Douglas Houghton was the one to confirm these deposits. They were mainly used by locals, but some mining was done. Coal was also discovered in Saginaw in the mid-1800s and coal production peaked during World War I. Most of these mines were found in the central part of the state in the Michigan Basin. Production declined after World War I and ceased in the 1950s. This was just a short overview of the natural resources found and mined in Michigan. If you'd like to learn more, follow along with this series as we dive deeper into each of these resources. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to rock that subscribe button.